second down and long for Masoli, who throws it over for Jalen Acklin, and he has him up at the 35 and a first down to start this second quarter for the Tiger Cats. A good start to the second quarter here. For Masoli and the Tiger Cats, nice touch on that ball. Acklin holds on despite taking a hard hit along the Montreal sideline. To no avail for the Owls. Hamilton ball now inside the 20 in a second and long Mazzola. He looks deep. Into the end zone for Brandon Banks. Touchdown, Tiger Cats. Oh. Mazzoli, Banks, and the Cats make Montreal pay for that turnover. finalists as the most outstanding player connect on this one Jeremiah Masoli to Brandon Banks for the first touchdown of the day I'm accustomed to in previous years and take a look once again the touch on this football from Jeremiah Masoli just over top and Patrick levels into the waiting arms of Brandon Banks And Banks will share this one with the Tim Hortons Field faithful. Coming out of the snow to watch their team. Brandon Banks with the touchdown. And there's the fan who gets that nice gift. The take home. The touchdown thrown by that man, Jeremiah Mazzoli. Coming up to him, telling him, listen, this is our year. Simone Lawrence saying, in the year of the Great Cup, our fans give us everything, guys. Completed to Banks again. First down of the 26. Completed again to Jalen Acklin. And it'll be second and short. Tommy Condell, the offensive coordinator for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Been here for several years. And his counterpart in this game, the one he's going up against matching which with Baron Miles, the Hall of Famer, defensive coordinator for the Alouettes. As this chess match continues and a second and two after that eight yard gain by Ackland. Faking it to Jackson, Missouri keeps it. The first down marker for Hamilton, just inside the Montreal 15. Yeah, Masoli knowing exactly what he needs here. So he wasn't going to be able to really turn the corner and get upfield on this one. But seeing he's heading right for that first down marker, make sure he's just past it. Nice to have the fans helping out the officials today. Katsantonis gets the start at free safety and makes the most of the opportunity. And Hamilton's at midfield and completing that pass to Ackland, so is Hamilton scoring done for this first half? That's twice now we've been thinking. Mazzoli trying to get them a bit closer. Jackson down to the 40. He got backed by his teammates. They want someone who expects to win, obviously. It's Tim White on the catch. First catch of the day for Tim White, who's been a prominent part of this Tiger Cat offense, too, especially with all the injuries they've had and the receiving core in 2021. Yeah, Tim White has really been a godsend, quite frankly, for the, the Hamilton Tiger Cats offensively, ending up as an East Division all-star. So that actually put them ahead when they were down by as much as 17 to 3 in that game. To three now a 2010 game and the pass completed close to first down yardage to Jalen Acklin. Yeah, Jalen Acklin. I thought really expanded his game this season, moving into the slot more frequently after primarily lining up as a wideout during his 2019 rookie season. And we decided at the awards and break up week. Quickly inside. Tim White. 
Picks up good yardage for the Ticats and a first down. Uh, and this technically with a bit of a shovel pass will go down as a reception for Tim White, but a play generally considered part of the run game. Hamilton still leads, just not by as much. Completing that pass to Acklin again. First and 15. Pressure coming. Reed on the blitz. Mazzoli gets it away. It is bobbled initially by Don Jackson, but he does hang on. And gets more of the penalty yardage back and then a couple more yards on top of it. Unleashes the hounds on that one, sending the secondary blitz. Greg Reed coming from his weak side halfback spot. He was unblocked, but Masoli got rid of that ball just in time. In the fourth quarter, the Ticats try to hang on or increase that 10 point lead with more heat coming. He gets it away and he completes it. Another one to Brandon Banks. They're in Alouette territory. Inside the 40. They're on the move with their 10 point lead. And I, I'm a believer that Jeremiah Masoli's mobility, his ability to use his legs, is, is underrated. You know, I mean, this is a guy that they don't call a lot of runs for him, but very effective when they do. And you just saw in that instance. When things break down a little bit, he has the ability to create and turn that into a positive play. Hide here. Off to the right and complete. Tim White. Alouettes prevent him from getting possession, run the ball, run ball control offense, and tick down that clock. Brandon Banks, Montreal 36. Jeremiah Masoli. Under pressure, gets it away, dumps it off nicely to Tim White, who's still going. Patrick Levels punches the ball out on Tim White, but a big gain by Hamilton. Ball hit it out of bounds. There's one element trying to argue that it should be theirs. Uh, Patrick Levels shaken up on the play. A nice awareness by Jeremiah Masola as he's stepping up. Probably 